job done? Absolutely. All right. Go All for right. it. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Dude, check this out. Ah! 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 Hey, dude, check this out. Oh! I remember my eyeglasses. Whoa! Scary. Why'd you do that? Talk about, like, what you said. Always have your goggles on. measurements to what you need. When handling the slides, be extremely careful as, as it is real glass and very delicate. Place it and then add tension. Good. Stop. To move the slide back and forth, use the top one right here. To move it left and right, use the bottom one right here. To add tension, go up or down. Go from here and Slide to change focus back and forth on here. To change the amount of light, slide back and forth on here. Using liquid glassware measurements, always go from the bottom of the meniscus right about there, not the sides. Oh no, there's broken glass. You gotta tell your teacher immediately. So, before you start your bunches burner, you wanna make sure these things are snug. And you turn on the gas. All right, so you get your thing, and you like, light it. Then 
Oh. <laughs> to adjust it, you move this. This is your uh, regular flame and your roaring blue flame. Always make sure your fire equipment is stable. Do not rapidly change the temperature of glass either to very cold to very hot quickly or very hot to very cold quickly. No, it's hot. It doesn't look hot. This is hot. You need tongs. <laughs> So when using your Bunsen burner, you want to change the airflow by twisting this valve. To get it to a roaring blue flame, you twist it all the way open. Yeah. In case of any accident or emergency, quickly shut off the gas. Always know the location of the fire extinguisher. Make sure the pressure is okay. It is right next to the backpack table. Remove the fire extinguisher from the wall. Pick out the nozzle. And from around 10 feet away, pull the pin, aim at 45 degree angle at the base, and press. In case of a fire emergency and someone's on fire, this is your fire blanket. To get it out, you just flip this, open it, they just unravel it. And <laughs> oh, and then you. Stop, drop. Dude, check this out. <laughs> ah, 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 ow, ah, 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 ah. If you come in contact with a dangerous chemical, immediately strip off all possible clothing and go to the emergency shower slash eyewash station. After all clothing is removed, pull handle once when you're directly underneath the shower head and push forward on this panel with eyes over it for at least 15 minutes or until the instructor comes and gets you. I'm done with these chemicals. No, you can't pour those on the drain. Why not? It's damaging to the pipes. All right, so to protect your lungs from potentially dangerous fumes, you should employ the wafting technique. So what you want to do is waft the fumes into your nose, because if you just directly sniff it, that's going to be a lot of stuff going into your lungs, and you don't want that. Wow, we're almost finished with the lab. I can't wait. Uh. Can you toss me that flask? Sure.
Sebastian, help me. Sebastian, I think I'm on fire. Help me quick. Sebastian, please. Coming up? Yeah. That's offensive. That's better than it was last time. It's, it's a lot faster. faster. A lot faster. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Jennifer Gerson, and it's very hot. What are we doing this time? Exothermic reaction. Our fun activity. <laughs> when you follow the rules, it's even better. You learn a ton in labs, but you learn even more when you're following the rules. <laughs> no, you can't pour those on the drain. Why not? It's damaging to the pipes. <laughs> that was too slow. Wait. What is wrong? So if you find yourself on fire, this is the fire blanket. To get it out, you just flip this. Class Iowa Station. Stop it. <laughs> the microscope, make sure to adjust all measurements to your liking. I can't see. <laughs>